It's been a while since I've done a full tour of my ambulance. Uh, it's uh, still a work in progress, but it's getting there to what I want. And I'll just show you what I've done so far, what in the past. Some people have seen it a few months ago and see the changes. So uh, uh, give you some ideas of what I'm going to do and give me some comments of what you think of my ideas that I'm going to do in the future. So we'll go from there. You can see on my upper electrical panel, uh, I have uh, five uh, EWI Link Wi Fi relay boards, a Bluetooth relay board, uh, right now four double pole, double throw uh, relays for my linear actuators. I have a 5 volt converter, it takes 12 volts to 5 volts. I have two 12 volt to 19 volt converters. I'll show you that in more detail in my next video. That's where I take 12 volts and boost it to 19 volts to charge my laptop and also to run my monitor. So it's more efficient than uh, tuning on my uh, inverter. On my door here, you see I had that uh, the tent I sort of covered my door with when I'm doing work on. I'm going to be removing that section and cutting out the door. This is where I plan to put in my on-demand hot water heater. So it'll be built in a bit and uh, there'll be space to be covered and it'll fit in the area of the uh, control. I do plan to uh, open the door up when I do use it um, a bit but uh, that's where I plan to store it and keep it there. I think it'll be great. Still uh, need to replace my batteries to with lithium. Um, hopefully soon. I'd love to get a deal from Renergy. That would be great. Continue with all my Renergy equipment. Well, we'll go in the back. We have my propane tanks. And I have a uh, fresh water hose and a couple electrical cords. I do have a vent in there. It's just up front a bit. You can't see it. That's venting out, or I should say down. Inside the drawer, I have my torque wrench. I have a breaker bar, a pipe to make my breaker bar even bigger. I have my tool for undoing my wheel covers. I will be putting my sockets in the uh, on the bottom too. I'm going to get some of that uh, breakaway foam and fit it inside there, and that way I can. Uh, finish that off and I think it'll look a lot nicer. My toilet area it does lift up and get access to pull it out. This is something new I built. Built a little shelf in here. Have my cat food. Still waiting for Ginger to come back. And uh, it folds in there. Keep my little Ryobi uh, vacuum cleaner there. Spilt a little paint on it. And I just started working in here. Where I put my chucks for uh, raising up the vehicle a little bit. If I can't pull, use any rocks or whatever, I'm going to cut a couple more and put them in. But uh, that works out really well, and it keeps them out of the way. Put that back. Well, it was a nice day out and I don't want to cook inside um, in a parking lot or someplace uh, where they have no picnic tables. I can just put my little butane uh, camp stove or on top of the shelf I made. I've used it several times. It's great for cooking and uh, I, I like it. You know, like I said, like today it's like probably 22, 23 degrees and uh, who wants to cook inside? Well, right now this is my closet. I keep coats there and that. That'll eventually move. And where my truck batteries are, which are underneath the plate here, I plan to cut that out. I'll move the garbage can here. And there'll be a step there, but it'll lift up. And this will become my area for my indoor shower. I'll also be able to have an outdoor shower. And the tent I made that works on the other side will actually fit on this door too if I'm not in too much private area but uh, so that's plans for the future that also depends on when I get my lithium batteries because my lithium batteries will go behind the uh, driver's seat or passenger seat I haven't decided yet and uh, 
then the truck batteries will go where my house batteries are now. So I painted this. I broke my step stool. It's like the third one I've broken in uh, two years. I'm gonna have to buy some better quality ones. Here I have a closet that I keep some shirts in. It's always nice to have something that keep, looks good if I'm going out somewhere. I'll have a wrinkled shirt or, not, or I don't want to wear a t-shirt. My diesel heater is underneath. My diesel heater I take out and rebuild once a year to make sure that it's working properly. Um, I think everybody who has a diesel heater or even a gas heater, you should service it once a year, just like you would do a furnace at home. This is uh, my laundry uh, basket on this, this side here. My laundry other side is for my CPAP and underneath is where I store my uh, little propane, uh, butane stove and all my shopping bags. Have a little light on here and I have two wireless cell phone chargers I've done a lot to my display panel or my boards my controls um, rewiring a few other things into it so I'll be redoing everything and I'm rewiring in my uh, computer for my ambulance and uh, I also have my 24 inch monitor that I'm going to actually hardwire into power and just turn it on with the switch. The cupboards here. I store my SLR cameras, lenses, and here flashlights. I have a label maker. Still have a bunch of electronic parts in here, and eventually that will all go when I've finished installing them all. And I'll have some more storage space there. I was actually thinking of putting um, some other shelving up in here, uh, maybe moving my cameras around, I haven't decided yet. And here I keep some t-shirts, underwear, socks, towels, sweaters, I keep it in the bins. In the winter time it keeps the humidity out, I find it works really well. This side, well I've got some red wine still. I have. Uh, pressure cooker, a little blender, bowl, strainer. Still I have some more tools and equipments up top there that will get relocated shortly. Um, I'm thinking of getting a small microwave and uh, putting it maybe in here, one of the tiny ones, and uh, just for heating up a few things or you know if I wanted to defrost something or make something that I forgot to put out. On the bottom, I have food drawers. Always won't go hungry. That's my uh, cat door for food. Um, like I said, uh, I'm still waiting to see if Ginger gets back. I've had people offer to me to give me some kittens right now, but I'm not 100% sure. Another food drawer. Just got some rice, uh, oatmeal, just it's sort of disorganized. My coffee mill is in there. And this was the first drawer I built where I have coffee and different teas. Pancake mix, flour, pasta. It's really handy for using. My uh, sink is right now cold water. Like I say, uh, I'll probably be installing my on-demand hot water heater in the next couple weeks. I've got my two burner stove. I've got a vent that I used the vent that came with the ambulance. Put a checker plate underneath and uh, use that for exhaust. And my kitchen folds in as well so it doesn't take up as much room and gives me plenty of room to walk around in. My dishes Mugs. I have my own mugs with my own symbol on. I plan to get my website going in a few weeks. Been delaying it, but somebody's offered to help. And my utensils, so I like that. Paper towel holder. 
medicine cabinet that uh, keep napkins like toiletries I got a full first aid kit with me as well this is my Murphy bed that uh, folds down I just have to unhook it it folds down I um, actually got it built in my mind how to do an automatic one now so uh, I'll have to redesign the way it is and uh, build a metal frame but uh, that's something that will go on in the future now uh, hopefully I got a so Alexa open food she's thinking I'm not in a very good cell area so my network so there I have uh, just some food some water some extra clothes Alexa close food Alexa open snacks I said I've only got one bar in my cell so even for my uh, Wi-Fi router my antenna it's probably not great either but it still works I also have uh, if it doesn't work I can directly open the, uh, the relay boards and the doors from my cell phone and if I lose all that I have mechanical switches all as well so I don't have to worry about losing Wi-Fi or my phone not working. Alexa, close snacks. Oops. So if I want to open up my tools, oh, wrong one. I have a mechanical switch as well. And this is where I keep all sorts of connectors, but connectors places. I have waterproof plugs. I have uh, impact driver, half inch, three eighths inch impact driver, uh, quarter inch, drill, nuts and bolts, soldering iron, multi tool, uh, glue gun, heat shrink gun, a whole bunch of bits, Dremel tool, and all all the connectors are. Uh, and uh, for cellular, uh, for excuse me, all the for uh, solar, and all the crimpers I need for any type of connector. So that works out really well for that, and it's a good use of space. I didn't want to take out my cupboards for the ambulance. I wanted to leave it in because I wanted to keep a lot of that ambulance feel. That's why I decided to go blue and white. Uh, it was stained. I've still got a couple more things to do. My uh, gray water tank that will go underneath, well, underneath the vehicle, but the hole's in there. And it's going to be here next week, so I plan next weekend to be installing that. So I've been looking for a long time for that. So I'm really happy that I can complete underneath for more storage. Um, not quite yet what I'm going to put under there, but uh, I'll figure something out. And my table pulls out. And the table is fully extended. I've done it a few times when I've had other people over for dinner. And I uh, always thought maybe someday we'll play some cards. It would be kind of nice on that too. I have a barn door that goes in the cab. I'll just show you. So I've got the cat hole in there. So. Uh, Ginger would go in and out. I have a, a flap door that I was going to put on too, but I'm just getting her used to using the uh, entrance. Used to have the door keep the door partially open, but this is uh, much better to close it off when I'm sleeping in here at night or doing some work. So I, I kind of like that. So that's a. I don't know. Should I paint that white? Let me know. In the front, I painted the dash. Some parts that were kind of worn out. The uh, I wanted to keep 
the control panel for the ambulance because it is. I've uh, repurposed several of the uh, switches already and uh, I tied my horn into the horn feature of the siren so uh, it's nice and loud when people cut me off or trying to back into me so I like that and that's the front so I've got my recliner sit back and watch uh, some movies Netflix uh, Prime Video I mostly watch Amazon Prime and Acorn TV. I love Acorn TV. It's a British channel. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm uh, also thinking of doing a uh, live view, uh, live to feed. I haven't done that before. Uh, Jeffy Bear suggested that I should try one. So uh, I'm thinking next Saturday I'll do a live feed from my amulets. So, I'll, uh, let everybody know the time. I'll be free all the time. I'll probably spend the whole day in here uh, if I'm not working on it. But uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm uh, getting down to the wire. I'm trying to get another thousand hours of viewing to uh, get monetized. So that'd be really cool for me. So see you again.